Alright, hello everyone. Today we're going to use new software for the screencast. I didn't like the on-air portion of Hangouts on Air for our screencast, so we're going to use a program called Camtasia, which is used uh, for this type of stuff for your learning. So our next little Google adventure is on Google Slides. So how do we use Google Slides? So I have trained you guys in PowerPoint and Prezi, and it's another form of a presentation slideware and we're going to learn a few new things and I'm going to teach a few new skills this time so here we go so remember our friend from the Chrome app launcher we can go to Google Drive okay so load it up once you're in Google Drive or you can just type Google Drive in your Omni box go to create create your friend and then go to presentation okay now when you go to presentation it loads you up here and you got um, the first thing you have to choose from is a the theme now Keep in mind, guys, when you're picking a theme, you want to pick some friendly colors for our classroom, and you also want to think about your text background, okay? And I'm a firm believer, and you don't want anything kind of too vibrant. Pick something that's good for you, but you really don't want to go too far out there, okay? So pick something that you like. I'm just going to go with maybe Dark Gradient, and um, I've created a different one here that you'll see also. Okay, so you choose a theme and it'll load up for you. Okay, and the first thing is your title slide. So you want to call it a title and Mr. O's title slide, as you see here, my grade three learning. And I put my name by Mr. O. So that I would have put here and I would have put here. So then how do I get to my next slide? So as you can see, I've created a new slide here. And the goal for this assignment is what you're going to do is talk about two things that you learned uh, this year that was the most exciting for you especially on Mr. O's side and two things you want to learn more about um, now using slideware guys I want you to think you're presenting okay and you've learned some great presentation skills so I want you to remember just like Anthony Brown he would use probably only photos he'd have a lot less text the photos will link our brain to what we want to speak about your goal when you're presenting is just to have links about what you're going to present and it's all in your head, okay? So less on the slide is actually more. Use the notes if you need to and uh, be prepared to present it in class. So here we go. Here's what I want you to do. So I will post this assignment here and um, it's pretty easy as you can see. <clears throat> so how do I get to a new slide? So I'll just add here, right? So we'll create the same thing that I already started, right? So uh, we'll say my grade three learning. You can hit the tab key. No, you cannot hit the tab key, sorry. You can go over here and who is it by? It's the author and Mr. O. So I want to create a new slide. This little plus is our friend. If you go to the plus, it'll give you some options of what you want to do, okay? so. Um, I like title and body or title only. Okay, I'll pick that. Okay, so I got a new slide already. And so I can say cool things I've learned this year. Okay, and obviously for Mr. O, Google Apps was one. So I'm going in to search Google Apps for education. Or I'll just type in Google Apps. Done and see what images come up. So I'll go over to my images and here I got tons of Google Apps and I like this one so I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go right to my image and paste. Just like drawings it's very easy and there I go I got my image and you notice these red lines that means I'm in the middle and that means I'm the vertical one means I'm in the center. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is actually enlarge my image I got it nice and big, and I'll match up my red lines. Yeah, I just want it vertical in the center, okay? So that's all I'm going to put. Now, if I'm going to forget something a little bit about this, I'm going to put it in my notes down below, okay? So I'll put Google Apps here. That way I won't see it in the presentation, but it's there in case I need it when I'm practicing. Now, I'm going to do another slide about cool things I've learned this year, so I'm going to save myself some time. I'm going to go to here, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to duplicate slide, okay? I'm not going to go to new slide, I'm just going to duplicate. So there I go, I got two slides the same, but this one I want to delete the image and I'm going to think of something else cool I've learned this year. And the second cool thing I think I've learned more about as a teacher this year was teaching inference. 
So we'll type in inference here, and here I go. I got lots of images about inference. And as a teacher teaching inference skills, boom, boom, boom. Aha, that looks like a cool image. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to paste it. Again, the size is probably not ideal for what I want. And I'm going to enlarge it. So I am going to create it about that big and put it in there. And if in case I need to, I don't want, obviously this is not Google Apps in the notes, inference and anything I want to speak about inference is down here in my notes. Okay, so the next thing I need to think about, so I'm going back to my assignment here, yep, I got my title slide, I got two things I learned this year, what do I want to learn more about? So Mr. O definitely needs to learn more about Google Scripts, so what am I going to do? I'm going to add a new slide, okay, so I can go here, and when I click on new slide, I think it sticks with the same format that was previous, if you want to do a different format, you can just click next to the arrow, okay? So here we go, and I'm going to say things I want to learn more about, and Google Scripts is definitely one of them, so I'm going to go here, I'm going to type in Google scripts. Sorry guys, I'm just in a cafe so you hear some background noise. Alright, here's Google strip, script, sorry, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste here and I might want to inform people what scripts are when I present and I'll do so in class and I'll create one in class so you guys can have more success too. Okay, so scripts and new slide, what else did Mr. O want to learn more about? It's good to think, ah oh, yes, Mr. O also wants to become, oops, I shouldn't have done that, sorry, I'm going to delete this slide, and I'm just going to duplicate it, because I want the same title, but I'm going to delete this, I forgot to add to my notes, so I'll say Google Scripts, and here, another thing I want to learn more about is I want to learn more about becoming a Google Certified here I go, I got a Google Certified Teacher logo, and yeah, I got a Google thing to do, 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 okay, I like this one, we'll copy it, copy the image, let's just right click, and right click, paste, you can do Control C, Control V, for those of you who love the keyboard, alright, hopefully all this background noise isn't going to interfere too much, we'll center it up. And we should have one final slide, and that final slide will be a blank one, and it's going to be a nice concluding slide for thank you. So, the thank you, and which one do I like? I like this one, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to go here, I'm going to paste it, and have it nice and big and then I'm done, that's my conclusion. So the only thing left to do is title it, so I can say Mr. O's Learning Journey. Okay, so I got a title and everything. So if I want to preview my slideshow, I can go here. So here I go, it's starting, okay? And I can just click through it, so I can go back to my beginning, okay? So here I go, bam, 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 bam. Now, you notice my notes didn't come up. Why? Because I'm going to practice, and I don't have a lot of text on my slides. Now, some of you might ask about transitions, okay? So I can transition each slide. There's no transition right now. I can fade my transitions, okay? So again, how did I do that? Came up right here, transitions. There's the same features as Google Drawing, so you notice Google all stays the same. I can change the background, the layouts, the theme, okay, and transition. So it'll fade, I'll have them fade fast, and I'll do this apply to all slides. Now, don't get too crazy with all this transition and animation stuff, okay? So here you go, you can see, preview, okay, through my slides again. Um, let's just present it one more time, I'll show you now the fade, see the fade see the fade, a little bit cooler, right? Okay, I can hit escape to escape back, and that's the top left hand button on your keyboard, ESC. Okay, now, if I want to have some animations, I can add those under, let's see, it is 
slide, insert, um, view, animations. Okay. So animation, slide, fade, uh, let's see. I can click on an object. I can add an, in, an animation. So again, don't go crazy with your animations. I don't think you need any, to be honest. But if you do want to add one, how did I do that, by the way? Uh, click on the object, right click, and you can click animate. That's the easiest way, I think. Okay, so I can do fade in on click. I can change it. I can fly in. I can zoom in, okay? Uh, when I click or just with the slides, it's up to you, the speed right here, and then I can play. So here I go, bam, and then I click, and then bam, okay, it comes in, all right. Now I wouldn't go too crazy with those because the more you have, the more your slideshow is not so great in my opinion, okay? So less is more, just remember that last thing you need to do to end this screencast is you need to share it so how do I do that I'm gonna go share and I don't want private I want to change this I want to go anyone with the link okay and I'm gonna hit save that anyone can view you don't want them to edit maybe they can comment that would be okay I think okay so people can add some comments in save okay and there you go you can go right to Google Plus from there and I'm going to share it. So we'll say, I'll add a Google Slides section in later. So I'll do this and I'll just put it to our general section and I'll change this later. So I'll go and then 3 4 and we'll put it under general discussion. I'll create a slide. So here is my slide show. Okay. Now when you share it, um, we'll have it all in there and you'll be able to present it in class. So here we go, we'll share. We'll check it out in our Google, or Google Plus, sorry. And here we go, let's see how it came up. And there I go, I got my slideshow there. And I can play it right from here. So slide one, slide two, click, cool, 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 okay. That is it guys, so happy Googling, hope you guys have some success, I'll post this up, I'll post my other one I did, and you have your notes for practicing at home, your pictures should help you. Alright, happy Googling, ciao.